Okay, here we go, part two. Part two, part two, part two, part two. I used to hike up there in the early days, 2020. COVID, my peak hiking years before my knee went bust. It's crazy, once you tear it, it doesn't, doesn't come back, even with rest, especially when you get over 40. It's hard, man, uh, the decline of health, but hopefully the way technology is moving, we're slowly extending lifespans. I don't know if it's by like one year, every two or three years, the average lifespan gets longer. It's pretty low to get actually get to to actually get to like 200 years of life. Can we get there in 100 years? Um, maybe. But that's that's like parabolic life extension. So this is constant life extension. It's not going to fly if you want to live. 200 years because we, we have to outpace the technological advancements to extend life for every year by the number of years pretty sure that's a dog down there I'm like what's that loud sound pretty cool how they use the street lights one street lights that's way over there to artificially illuminate because this isn't natural lighting. I don't see this when I shine it. Do I? And also my flashlight. I see a little bit of light, but definitely not as bright as what I see. It's all artificially enhanced. So they use the dimmest image and they know what it is. Okay, this is the shape. Let's enhance it. So the color is gonna be off, I think. Well, that's green. It's pretty, it's pretty good. They got the color. Anyway, so. This life extension stuff, it's coming up, right? We're coming at a... But we want, like... <clears throat> we don't want average life to grow by one year every two or, two or three years. We want average price... I mean, average life span to grow by two or three years every year. This parabolic life extension, which we're not seeing. Because if that happens, then you can basically live forever right if, if every year your life grows by one point oh 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 one year uh, then you'll live forever that's just, that's just internal life well actually it's average so you can die earlier than the average but in general <coughs> if life extension grows greater than time, you'll live forever. So that, this is eternity. Why is eternity the ultimate goal? A, because we don't know where we're gonna be in, in 50 years or after we die, sorry. We don't know where we're gonna be. Are we gonna go to heaven? That would, that would be great. Could it be like a dream? Um, your brain is just cells, lecture electrical currents so but there's a soul if you believe in that uh, hard to prove that though people are like but this and this and this and that like, ah, I, don't I don't know about that is that scientific evidence so these electrical currents are flowing and they're powered by the heart the powerhouse of the body and then the brain the, the interpreter of where all the signals signals go but um, so once the heart gives out, that's it. Your brain's gonna live for what, a few a few hours, a few minutes. I don't know. I think a few minutes, and then it shuts off. And there's sort sort of chemicals. It's chemicals converted to electrical signals. But you can the cells will grow a little bit. They'll use that, but not all the cells, like skin cells. And no, they don't grow. I thought your hair and skin, uh, your nails grow after they die, but they don't, your skin actually dehydrates and shrinks, so it looks like they're growing. Um, so anyway, I don't know how long you live after your heart gives out, but probably minutes, realistically. So if you people thought, oh, it's like a dream where you just 
float forever with random thoughts, but no, once your brain goes, that's it. It's just gonna be darkness, so the, the time between the dreams, right? Um, so, is that bad, is it good? It's, it's frightening if you think about it. I, th I thought about it a little as a kid, and it's weird that you think about it. I think it's only natural that you start thinking about it. I just wake up like on Saturday when I was nine years old and think, what's eternity? Oh, I'm gonna go to heaven and meet God, right? It's gonna be great. Meeting God in heaven? That's awesome. And just do whatever I want, play video games, spend time with all my dead dogs, dead cats. Um, have a great adventure for eternity. And then I would think, eternity, isn't it gonna get boring after a while? 100 years, 1,000 years, 10,000 years, 100,000 years? When we get boring, imagine living with the stress, the daily stress of life forever in heaven. Okay, there's going to be less stress because you can just flick, flip your, flick your flink finger and all your stress will go away. Okay, so you're just going to have the ultimate cheat code. Does that, does that make games fun if you can just cheat at games? Does that make games fun? Not really. So it's hard, man. The thought, that's why this thought of eternity doesn't even make sense as a child i couldn't comprehend it and now i still can't, can't comprehend why living forever would be awesome and magical you still have to deal with all the pain all the stress maybe it depends on how optimistic or pessimistic you are as a personality you just love to have fun all the time and that's you and nothing can bring you down which is weird can't if you're up 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 all the time isn't it very easy to bring you down I don't know, um, versus being level all the time, very difficult to bring you up and down. Or if you're rock bottom, very difficult to bring you up. What is that, a frog? This could be an hour long villa. Let's see. Actually, if you are at the bottom, very easy to bring you up, but it can be easy to bring you lower, which is like thoughts of imminent death and attempts of suicide, right? That's the absolute rock bottom. It's hard to say, but anyway, I like to be middle of, middle of the road, not too happy, not too sad all the time. And is this heaven? I'm like, is that gonna make heaven and eternity the most enjoyable? I don't know, but realistically, there is a high chance that there is no heaven, there is no afterlife, and after those few minutes of dream states, that's it. You're, you're a goner and just blackness the blackness between dreams when you wake up and you don't remember having a dream that's that's all you're going to experience is that good Let's see will it matter um it won't matter because you won't know that you're experiencing blackness the knowledge of experiencing blackness is what brings the pain and uncertainty Okay, so anyway, that's that's just death. It's coming up. Do but we do we want to live for 200, 500 years? That would be cool, but we're still gonna reach that point at the end of life where we think, holy shit, my life is ending. Am I gonna go to heaven? Is it just gonna be darkness? Do I want that's the panic that sets in. Uh very rarely do you have someone that says, I'm ready to die. I love you all, my family, my friends. I had a fantastic life. They might do a public message like that, but I'm ready to die. Um, or they might just be going on. They might be like, okay, where they're talking about economics, like Warren Buffett. What is he, 91 or 92? Now, and then all of a sudden, he says, well, I've enjoyed my life. I've done everything I want. And if it's my time to go, then it's my time to go. But very rarely, you're like minutes away. You're hooked up to the brain. They're ready to turn off the brain. See? And I just love and enjoy life and I'm happy and I love ever and I'm ready to go and then you close your eyes. Very rarely do you get those those videos or moments. Maybe you have a relative, a grandparent that experienced that or a sick parent died of cancer. Very rarely. There's coyotes, there's animals out here. Oh, the sun's coming up. I didn't think I was gonna film the sunrise because I thought I was gonna do like a 20 minute vlog. But here the sunrise is coming up. Okay. So again, 
and can we get eternal life? We'll close out part two. Can we get eternal life on earth where this is our eternity, where we never reach that afterlife because we just live, live forever, uh, other than the people that die sporadically, that don't make backups of their consciousness. Make sure you back up your mind. You're like, back up those pictures. Back them up to the cloud. But <laughs> back up your mind, right? Back up your mind. Imagine not making a backup of your mind or using a shitty service, a shitty consciousness, soul embodiment, downloading software. You're paying like 30 bucks a month in the future, or probably like $300 a month for your backup. And it just crashes and that's it. You're out of there. The data recovery experts come in. We're gonna recover your soul. I know you get turned on. What the fuck happened? Oh, it took a few months. Missed a few months, but you're back. You say, oh, sweet, I'm back. Just like that, huh? Coyotes are hiding. It's, it's much safer just to hide than... Dude, he took a dump right there when the water comes back. It's gonna... On the water. Ah, this water's dirty anyway. Ah, I feel so bad, though. <laughs> Think of my throat in there, it'll ne never reach the water. But here, it's right next to the water when the rain's coming in a couple months. <laughs> guys, 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 there was actually a dead deer. I said, actually, a week before my dog died, I was looking at his videos. Uh, he's eating a dead deer here. Deer skeleton, sorry. Uh, back home. One of the vlogs. Oh, and you can go back the last time I shaved. I think it was a couple years ago. You can actually see the vlog. Um, where that happened. So we would have to have an infinite number of resources to expand the earth if we're going to have all these brains hooked up forever, I think. Is it going to take a shitload of electricity for every body? Maybe. And are we going to be able to reproduce once we reach that stage? Are we going to have bodies that always become... Just digital recreation transformations. Are we going to have that in the future? Or are we just going to go straight digital? So all your reproduction will be digital through the computer. No more bodies. If that's the case, I think we'll need less resources than that. So will we need space travel, interplanetary travel? Elon Musk says the Mars mission is the next goal. Will we need that uh, for the the resources on Mars to power us. I don't know. Can we ju use just the sun? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we do have to go to other planets to carry all these computers aboard the ships or transplant them back to Earth or without worth Earth in four billion years after the sun dies. We'll have to carry all these digital bodies around, digital souls. Anyway, something to think about. Let's go to part three. We venture into part three.